what special protocols or procedures Australia put in Australia Post put in place uh, for the conduct of the marriage survey? Certainly, Senator, and thank you for your question. Uh, we have been very um, pleased with the way that the survey has uh, been run, and our people have done an amazing job. When we were notified by ABS, we put in place a working group. Um, and that was in early August, and we had weekly uh, you know, meetings with respect to that. And that was across all areas. It was engagement directly with ABS with respect to the running uh, of how the survey, the key dates, the delivery timetable, the lodgements, and we also then made sure from a security protocol perspective that we would really uh, look at our procedures and ensure that for all returns that appropriate security protocols were in place. Right. So what percentage of addresses uh, did Australia Post deliver to? Uh, we delivered 16 uh, million uh, surveys uh, was sent out. Um, and I can get the, um, I'm happy to take how many households that that went to, but 16 million address letters uh, went out as a result of the survey and I will get uh, the exact figure of how many households were on a delivery point and take that on notice for you, Senator. Let's, uh, let's look at it differently. Yes. How many delivery points were not delivered to? I'll take that on notice, Senator. If you could, that would be great. I'll just... So we did deliver to 11.7 million delivery points, and that is all of the delivery points that we have. And that also includes in rural Australia, um, as you may recall, for people that don't do um, and don't have a street address, uh, the normal counter mail arrangements are, um, were provided for. So Australia so all Post, households. Australia Post delivered to 100% of its delivery points. 11.7 .7 million delivery right. points, that's correct. 100% of the delivery points. Well, wow, congratulations. That's Congratulations. Um, in the Australian newspaper, uh, there was an article in regards to a special protocol that was being established with the Postal Union around the delivery um, of material that might have been offensive. Can you give me an update on that? It appeared in the Australian newspaper on the 23rd of August uh, this year. Uh, yes, I, you're referring to our unaddressed um, letter oh, service right. and under our um, unaddressed letter service there's a term and condition associated with that, that anything that is deemed um, offensive, mm -hmm. uh, Australia Post has the right not to deliver. Mm -hmm. And we were particularly conscious, uh, given with this survey, but indeed with all our unaddressed, um, that we make sure we respect that term and condition. So we, we established, again, a working group uh, part of our protocols with our unaddressed mail service is people are required to submit um, a copy of what that unaddressed item mm -hmm. is going to be and we then do um, assess that. We do that as part of our business as usual, so we just made sure that that protocol was strictly adhered to from when we took bookings mm -hmm. uh, to make sure it conformed with our terms and conditions. And did Australia Post decide not to send any unaddressed items as a result of that protocol? Um, I, yeah, I think there was one item. Mm -hmm. um, so when you look at our total lodgements, there was one item mm -hmm. that was deemed um, offensive and inappropriate. Um, so one was refused. Right. Did uh, any employees decline to distribute material? Not to my knowledge. Mm -hmm. um, um, so again, we had protocols again in yep. place, right. uh, but uh, employees, they deliver, and again, as you would appreciate, with all, you know, whether it be elections or, uh, you know, it's part of what our posties yep. do. So I'm just trying to draw a distinction between employees and managers. Yes. Yep, so could you just help me understand? So I understand that managers had, uh, were able to exercise a r right that material shouldn't be delivered, but as well as employees people physically delivering to letter boxes or to yeah. so post office boxes? For our employees, um, it's part of our normal business operation. So our employees are required to deliver everything that mm -hmm. they're given. Yep. Uh, so that would obviously include the postal survey. From a management perspective, yep. under the terms and conditions of our unaddressed mail policy, yep. um, a small working group decided and determined 
what was appropriate to be delivered under those terms and conditions, mm -hmm. and one item was refused. One item. So that's the difference between manager and employee. Great. You would have seen the media reports around the survey forms, uh, images of survey forms being scattered on the ground, etc., around uh, post office boxes and letter boxes. Um, how did you respond to those, and can you provide us with any detail around the specific circumstances uh, or those those particular instances that attracted a, a high media profile? Yes, certainly. Um, the two that you are referring to, there was an incident in Brunswick in Victoria as well as an incident in Canberra. Um, and when we looked and investigated um, both those two incidences, uh, the items were delivered correctly and it appears that there was theft from mailboxes after delivery had occurred. Um, so with that theft after delivery had occurred, those items were then dumped. Uh, so we were contacted by the media and were um, both via our social media and media sites um, and working with ABS and obviously the communication to any affected residents who may have been impacted by those two thefts were told to get replacement forms from ABS as per their processes. Right, okay. Um, no instances of postal workers have, I, I don't know of any, uh, I'm asking you, no instances of postal workers having discarded survey forms uh, or being um, uh, reprimanded for inappropriate behaviour around the postal survey? Not to my knowledge at all, Senators. Our staff did an incredible job, uh, you know, across that period of time and we've been, you know, really grateful and thankful for our, how professional um, they handled the whole survey. Yep. And so 100% of survey forms, uh, sorry, survey forms were uh, delivered to 100%. So we had 11.7 um, million delivery yep. mm -hmm. uh, points and we have no reports of any issues with respect to those um, addressed items going to any household. Okay, well congratulations. Um, more significantly though, how many return to sender surveys did you receive? Uh, I'm happy to take that on notice. Um, I'm happy to take that on notice. I don't have those details to hand. The return to sender items obviously would be a question for ABS um, because but they'd, those... they'd come back through the mail They'd come service. back through the mail system, yep. but ABS would be able to provide those details to you. Right. Um, great. Thanks very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Senator.